What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Sea of Thieves video. Now at Gamescom they recently actually revealed a load of information. Now I did watch it, I cannot include a load of clips from the stream but as you guys can see in the background I will have a rotary of this brand new scenery where we actually have some volcanoes. Also, all of the information was better posted by the Sea of Thieves headquarters. So if you guys would like to check them out, please do. They round up all of the information from the streams, did a better job than what I could. So please check them out. So let's get right into this. So first up, the Forsaken Shores will actually feature volcanic eruptions that will cause rocks to land around the islands and for the water temperatures to rise. So it would be pretty awesome to actually use rowboats. When it comes to this, it sounds really awesome. It sounds similar to the lightning where it can actually hit you, damage you. But it's again, it's just a really good change. It's something that should have been added into the game, which again has just been put in. I personally think it would be a great idea to see what this can do and how this actually affects the gameplays and what kind of disadvantages we will get when we're actually in the water when the temperatures are rising. Next up, we do have the Forsaken Shores, we'll actually have these geysers, which can actually shoot you into the air. Now, they're basically the holes that when you actually jump on them, they fling you. They're basically what the whales have on their back, where they actually just push a load of water, but it's basically out of the ground, and again, fling you into the air. They seem pretty cool. Again, not too sure what the point of adding this type of thing is. Maybe it's some kind of evade situation when you're running away from pirates or maybe even the skeletons. Being shot out of one of them may give you a little advantage and a little bit more time to evade the enemy. We do also have the next Bilgrat adventure after Cursed Sails is going to be called the Cursed Cruise. This event will introduce cursed cannonballs to the world. You will be able to find them on islands and use them against other players. Pretty awesome, again an event that I've been waiting for, Cursed Cannonballs I do hope are a permanent addition into the game, not so much for the fact that you can have them on spawn, but maybe you could find a couple which could change the way that you fight and change the way you defend as well. We do also have the new Merchant Alliance Voyages that will be coming in the Forsaken Shores. So there is going to be bottles of rum which you'll have to keep very safe. They are very fragile and can break. So maybe if you hit them by accident or run with them they may break. You've also got cloth which you have to keep dry. And then you've got plants which you actually have to water and keep wet as well. So maybe jumping in the sea every time it starts to dry up, something like that. And we also do have a brand new feature in which you can actually use a Reaper's Mark. So this Reaper's Mark will actually show your ship on the map for everyone in the server. Now I do think this is more of a PvP thing, so maybe a few people will actually use this flag. You can go and meet them, either fight each other or group up together and create an alliance. Let me know your thoughts on that comment section below on how you feel about the Reaper's flag, as well as the new Merchant Alliances. Uh, I do think that the Voyages are pretty awesome, something that was needed for the Merchant Alliance. I do find the Voyages currently pretty boring and feel like a big task, so hopefully these actually change it up. And then also, we do know that the Forsaken Shores is going to be launching September the 19th. A pretty awesome date for the pure fact I know a load of updates and season changes are coming September the 4th, so a really good time to release that. I mean, 15 days after all of the bigger games are coming out with their releases, so yeah, really cannot wait to play this. Let me know in that comment section below if you're going to be playing this on day one, and are you excited for this new area? But as always, peace out, and I hope you enjoyed.